All right, let's go to my desktop here. And what I want to do is launch my offer at Icon, or I can go to Start Programs, Author It, and then select Author It from here. Now you'll notice there's a couple other applications in my application list. There's Author It Administrator and Author It Localization Manager. Author It Administrator is our separate module that the administrator role uses in order to set up our user and group security. We'll be taking a look at that module on day four. Okay, so administrative tasks are pretty much exclusively performed in a separate module outside of the Author It library. Author It Localization Manager, this is a separate purchase. It's uh, our module that's used for managing translated content inside of an author at library. So if uh, you needed to translate your author at content out to various languages, then you would be using Author at Localization Manager. If you're interested in something like that, then uh, please contact your sales manager. That is a separate module, a separate purchase, and a separate training. All right, so we want to open up Author It proper. So go ahead and select Author It. Now, one of the first things that it asks me to do is decide which library I would like to log into, or in other words, which database. I'm going to go ahead and select Browse for More. All right, and I'm going to go out to my Student Data folder and I want to select my exploring library. This is the library that you will use to complete exercises for this module. And hit open. Alright, so once I've selected the database to log into, I then tell author it what user I would like to log in as. Now we've got all sorts of users set up inside of your student libraries. They all have very silly names associated with them just to kind of keep things light and fun here. Um, in case you weren't aware, AuthorIt is a New Zealand based company. I am convinced that they think that uh, users in the US all have some sort of like Boston or Brooklyn accent. So if you say the names as if you are from New York, then they kind of make more sense to you. An author, developer, designer, and then, you know, they kind of make sense. So we're going to log in as supervisor, and none of these users have a password. So you can select any of these users and log in. Your exercises are going to tell you which specific user to log in as because each one of these users belongs to a different group which has its own unique security associated with it. So let's be supervisor, no password. Supervisor can see and do everything and that's what we want. Now whenever you uh, create a brand new author at library, you will always have that supervisor user by default. They can see and do everything. You cannot delete that user, all right? But you can put a password on it, all right? So that not just anybody can log in as supervisor. So right out of the gate, if you're starting off with a new implementation, then you would be logging in as supervisor to get your administrative tasks done until you create some different users and groups. All right, so here is the author interface. All right, now, Let's go ahead and take a look here at our library. Let's minimize these folders for now. Starting off with the big A, the author at icon. If I click that author at icon, I can log in and out of my recently opened libraries. I can create a new one. I can take a look at my variables and so on. What I'm interested in is pointing out your author at options. All right. Now, when you first log into Author It, if you're a new user, this is the first place you want to go, is to your Author It options, all right? Because this is where you set up your user preferences for how you would like to use your Author It library. 
the options that you set up underneath author and options are specific to your user. Okay, they belong only to you. Nothing is shared here. All right, so when you first start using author it, go back to your big A, author it options, and go ahead and browse through each one of these tabs and set up your preferences for these general settings here, how you'd like to view windows, locations of common files, spelling, who you are, and your publishing preferences. Maybe the most important area in this window may be your publishing preferences, okay? Because when you publish something from Authorit, you'd kind of like to know where does that file get created? Well, by default, that file will get created under the directory you have set up in this publish field here. All right, you can change that to be a network area if you'd like to or you can publish to your local machine if you'd like. That's really a preference between you and your team on how you would like to manage the publications. You can always publish to your local drive and then move that file manually uh, to a network location if you'd like to. Again, up to you and your team. All right, but these tabs here are really just individual preferences for how you would like to use the library. For example, what measurement units would you like to see your ruler in? Let's say that you're an inches fan. You can select inches here. When you paste pictures into AuthorIt, is there a particular format you would like those pictures to be saved in? You could select that one here as well. If you have a team standard, Let's say that all of your graphics must always be ping 100% of the time. And then perhaps as a group, you would like to decide to set your paste pictures format as ping format. All right, so again, go through your author options, configure your individual user preferences for you know, your spelling, your viewing, your publishing, and so on. Now we have another tab here for Author at Extend. Author at Extend is also an additional purchase. It's basically a uh, reuse tool where it watches the content that you are typing into Author it and always checking with the database to see if it has those same words have already been reused in another topic in your library. And it will then present those matching topics to you. Right? It basically pushes reuse to the author instead of the author having to go out and find the objects to reuse. If you have purchased author at Extend, uh, then this is where you would set up your individual user preferences for working with it. Uh, we're not going to spend uh, time on author at Extend in this training because it is a separate purchase, but uh, this information is available to you um, on the Author at Knowledge Center. Um, or if you'd just like to, to go here and take a look at these settings, you can pretty much figure out on your own what's going on here. AcroCheck is also an additional purchase. It's a plug-in. Um, it requires an additional license. It's a different type of training and so on. So. We will not be focusing on AcroCheck for this training either, but this is where you would go to set up your preferences. All right, so again, if you are new to AuthorIt, one of the first places you want to go to when your administrator has the library set up is to go to the big A, AuthorIt Options, and browse through these tabs and set up your individual user preferences.